Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic that is about the surface area. So now I want to show you how to answer. We want to find the surface area rotated by s axis but of the function in here. So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing we need to find first the derivative of y. So because we have the square root, so we need to have number 2 with the square root of 1 plus e to the power of s. So we do first the derivative inside the square root and we have e to the power of s. Next, we can apply the formula. So we have the integration from a to b. And we have 2b y multiplied by the square root of number 1 and we have first the derivative of y to the power of 2 so the bounds of this one from 0 to number 1 Why that is about this one? So we put this one with the power number two, and now we have like this. Next, we have the integration from 0 to number 1. So we have 2b and the square root of 1 plus e to the power of s. So this one, we can do about common denominator and we have like this. So the square root of number 4 and 1 plus e to the power of s we put outside and now we have like this. This one, that is about identities, and we can put like this. Now we simplify and we have B. This one, we have 2 plus e to the power of s because from 0 to number 1 everything in here they own way about positive that's why we can got about positive number 2 plus e to the power of s and now we have the final answer 
the interaction of number two we have two x this one we keep the same and we put the bounds from zero to number one so number one i will put this one cone here number zero i will put this one cone here and now we have like this Because number 0 in here, you got number 0, e to the power of number 0, we have number 1. And now we simplify 2b minus b, we have b. And here is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.